Is there really a battle of dark and light going on on this planet? Greetings, dear ones. I'm crying of magnetic service, and the answer is yes, more than ever before. And we call it a battle because it is. It's almost like the last war. Something we predicted would be here. And even those who predicted the future, even in scripture, they saw the metaphor of it not understanding what it would be. This battle is the one of human consciousness starting to receive mastery. We said it before, you turn on the light, all the dirt shows, what do you do? You get rid of the dirt. And that is what is happening on this planet right now. This is the third in the series of what we are calling the destiny of mastery. Now that's an odd title, and it deals with the four attributes of mastery that we have taught you before. This being the third program in the destiny of mastery title, and series, this particular subject would involve then the third attribute of mastery. That third attribute loosely can be said as this, mastery surrounds itself with so much light that nothing that is dark can approach it. Mastery surrounds itself with so much light that nothing that is dark can approach it. All of these terms, dear ones, are metaphors. The dark, the light, the battle. But it's all that you have to explain something that is not just esoteric, but it is magnificent. It has no words for you. You have never seen anything like this. Not really. As this program is being presented to you, on this planet, there are real battles, ugly battles. Battles filled with things that cause death, sadness, sorrow, grief, hardship, suffering. All of these kinds of things you have seen and you understand. So when we start applying that and say, this is the definition to dark energy, that which would cause the war, dark energy. That energy which would perpetuate negative history. That's dark energy. Any energy that would repeat itself over and over, even though it is dysfunctional, is dark energy. Suddenly we come along and tell you that mastery is starting to occur with humans. In those channels of the last month, I told you that things were starting to change for the old soul and that the biggest one would be the reincarnation method or system of humanity. That old souls, those who have been here on this planet with many, many past lives, have gone through the school of the Akash and would graduate to the school of mastery. That is to say, it is at hand, what you expected, what is coming, what we told you was possible is starting to occur. Question, is it already here? The answer, yes, you're already starting to see some of those who are graduating into that which is a mastery school. But there are many more that have to come along and join them before you'll start seeing this in a way that affects the planet more than it is today. But even today, you have to say, you're seeing a change. Whereas before, this planet survived seemingly on war. It was good for the economy. It seemed to be good because it continued to repeat itself and repeat itself, almost like it was necessary for survival. And now you know better, this planet is starting to understand that compassion is what you need for survival. Understanding, kindness. Dear ones, this is beginning. And that is why this planet has so rejected another world war when it could have gone there easily. 
when this planet has, has rejected so firmly the current wars on this planet, no matter what the reason, and they've said, stop it. There have to be other ways. This has come from governments all over the world, from populations all over the world who are looking at what is going on and saying no. For the first time, saying no. Is it possible that you are starting to understand the beginning of the teaching of mastery? We gave you the first two aspects and we've given them to you before. And the four aspects of mastery will be taught and continue to be taught by me, others, as it starts to become that which is seen as logical, spiritual, spiritual essences that need to be seen and practiced on the earth. We didn't say knowledge. We didn't even say wisdom. We said essences. Now you can interpret that any way you want to. What is an essence? It has many meanings, many meanings. But this meaning is far different. It's impactful. It involves many of the senses that you have. It's not just wisdom. It's not just knowledge. It's something that imbues itself into the human being in many ways. That's an essence of mastery. Dear ones, even the teaching of the way it's going to be accomplished for you is shifting and changing. We told you it's going to be coming from that which is from your own DNA that is new. The 24th pair of chromosomes, the multidimensional aspects of the human being which is laid there, not activated, is now starting to work. And what it does is starts to give you information from your soul. That which you were born with, the magnificence of, of the essences of the angels, the essences of all that is, which is love, starts to be imbued into you in a way that starts to change you. The channel of this day is called the destiny of mastery. I'll explain it again. It's what mastery is becoming for humanity. It's humanity's destiny. And it comes slowly, very slowly. But over the time and over the generations, family after family, country after country, you start to see the evolvement of consciousness into a kinder place. And that, my dear human being, is going to take a while. <laughs> and you know what I speak of, for you don't see it much yet. And that's why we say to you, it's the destiny of mastery. Is it possible you could find yourself in a place someday where this third aspect of mastery starts to work and you see it working. What would you see? You would see that you represent light so much that the things that might approach you in a past energy, even a decade ago or two decades ago, doesn't seem to be the way of it today. There is no recurring cascading negative that you have seen in the past. There is no expectation of dark things. What if wherever you walk, the very atmosphere you breathe, the very reality of the planet is changed because you broadcast light. Listen again to the third aspect of mastery. 
Mastery produces light. That's what it does. And where there is light, darkness cannot exist. So the things that are of the darker energy of the planet, they meld before you. They go away. This, the third aspect of mastery, we'll teach again in a more thorough way. But for you right now, expect this to come to you, to be you. Revel in the fact that it is your destiny, light worker, old soul. That's why you're here watching now, and others may not be. These are instructions for you today. And there are also predictions of your future. And so it is. Hi, everyone. The short channeling you just saw from Cryon is just a sample of a great weekly 90-minute program called Healing Wednesday. Are you interested? I invite you to find out more at cryonmasters.com slash hw.